People living in a Dallas neighborhood hope to feel safer after authorities rounded up members of a suspected criminal network dealing in drugs and guns. Our J.D. Miles tonight takes us to an East Oak Cliff Street where authorities conducted one of more than a dozen raids that homeowners tell us they were pleased to see. Somehow they put that to, to open the, the uh, door from the inside. Joanne Lakey Brown has lingering reminders. They cut this whole thing out and came in. Of all the times people have tried to break in to her home of 57 years. They have broken into my garage and my food. You got to be on your toe, pins and toes because I have cameras out. They miss with my cameras. Brown says she heard the commotion early Thursday morning when police officers and federal agents stormed a home just a few doors down from hers. It was a citywide roundup of gang members and drug traffickers arrested after a two year investigation into what authorities call a violent criminal network. We applaud all those men and women uh, who went out and risked their lives as well to try to suppress uh, this network. Dallas City Council member Carolyn King Arnold hopes the roundup of as many as 30 people in her district will help turn things around in East Oak Cliff, where residents like Brown know every drug house on their block. It's a lot of shooting, let me say it like that, in this neighborhood. We get calls almost on a daily basis, especially from seniors who are concerned about these type of operations that's going on in their neighborhood. So this announcement was pretty much uh, a, a sigh of relief. During Thursday's raids, authorities recovered nine firearms and 1,800 grams of cocaine, methamphetamine, alprazolam, and fentanyl. This house, which was raided, is vacant now, but longtime residents worry that it's only a matter of time before it once again becomes a haven for drug and gang activity. Those arrested face anywhere from 10 to 40 years in prison if convicted of federal charges, and many of them already have criminal records. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.